In today's video, I'm doing four gorgeous high-end home decor inspired by high-end stores. I'm so happy with the end results and I cannot wait to show you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2022. I hope you are enjoying your day and I hope you are enjoying your year. I took a mini break to refresh my home, refresh myself, but I really missed you, miss interacting with you and I cannot wait to read your comments today. First DIY is from my favorite home store in the whole wide world, Z Gallery. Unfortunately, there is no Z Gallery in England, so I had to do my own design. I'm using IKEA 50 cm by 50 cm cotton cushion covers, only three pounds. Constantly checking against the reference picture and I noticed one third is gold and two third is black and I'm using gold fabric paint. The fabric paint that I'm using is really thick and it didn't bleed into the back and I didn't put anything inside to prevent that and back is still intact all cream. After completing the first layer, I didn't like the tone of gold, so I applied some acrylic paint to make it more subtle gold and it really works. This method and the paint still be soft over the fabric as long as you mix it with either fabric medium or fabric paint. I sprinkle some gold glitter while the paint is wet so it can stick and it gave a beautiful, beautiful, very subtle sheen. For the black part, I didn't have black fabric paint, so I'm using black acrylic as well as fabric medium. What fabric medium does is totally transparent, it's not going to change the color. What it does, it makes it soft on the surface, otherwise acrylic would be very hard. edges doesn't seem to be straight so I'm trying to make jagger the edges where the gold meets black and I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on the black part as well. glitter really works it doesn't even come off it's just stuck and it doesn't create even a texture because it's very fine for the details I'm using fashion liners and outliners two different tones of gold and I'm just going in alternating the gold pens or outliners one after another creating those jaggedy patterns While they are wet, I also sprinkled some gold glitter on top as well. And this is the beautiful end result. At the end of the video, I will be showing you how I will be using it in my home. This video is part of a collab called High End for Cheap 
and is hosted by lovely three ladies Diane and Jenny over at Deco Easy as well as Kiki over at Kiki's DIY. They have four co-hosts this month and I'm proud to be one of them. My second DIY is also from Z Gallery, a beautiful textured ball and I'm using these items to create something very very similar. I'm scrunching up the foil to create this beautiful texture and I'm going to flip it over to this ball while it's drying so it can take the texture from the foil. This modeling material is from Hobbycraft but you can get it from Amazon and I live in England. I'm sure you can find it online as well as somewhere like Michael's in the States. I'm using a large size plate instead of dinner plate because it would have been very big to cut it as a reference and I'm constantly checking against the picture to create all the little details. After cutting all the details, I tease the edges to create those jaggedy edges. Nothing is smooth in this bowl and I really like textural decor anyway and in my art I use textures so I was very happy to create this beautiful textural bowl. Creases in this foil created exactly the texture that I was seeing on the picture. I really really wanted to create the texture I was seeing and then left it over this bowl for 24 hours until it's completely dry. Here is the original texture and here is mine. After leaving overnight it was still slightly wet especially inside because it overturned so I had to use my oven only 100 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. I took it outside and used spray paint to give it a beautiful gold color. At the end of the video I will show you how to style this beautiful ball. I fell in love with these marble chain links but unfortunately it did not work the way I wanted because I couldn't find the gold links or rings in between. So I had to come up with a plan B and made a completely gold chain link instead using the same material. You tell me you're scared I rolled it until I was happy with the thickness then I changed the length according to my needs. While I was doing it I didn't realize that I won't be able to find the gold ring to go with my 
four marble chain links so I was doing half half if I knew that I was going to do all gold I could have done two of them complete roundish rings and only one of them half half and I'll explain you more in the process I individually made sure that they all fit together and I dried them making sure that they are together because I made it specially fit on each other however while it was air drying for three days it shrunk and it, they no longer fit together so a big lesson learned if I was redoing this one I would definitely do two of them full complete chain and only one of them half half I used water and wet my fingers to smooth all the edges. I'll still be Separate it slightly so they can dry and they are fully dried in three days because they were really thick so I left it plenty of time for it to dry. Before I made sure that they fit like a glove and it's no longer the case unfortunately. I will be using gold acrylic paint as well as gold gilding sheets to cover them only halves first and then I'm going to do the whole process again when I join the links. Before the paint was fully dry I applied the gold gilding sheets that you can buy from any craft store as well as online stores. It creates really beautiful gold or silver depending on what you're using and if you are familiar with my channel you have seen me using silver ones many many times. It's time to consume it but you just have to be patient. I was watching a film in front of me there was a laptop using Netflix over the Christmas period so I found it very very relaxing. If you find some parts already dry, just apply a little bit more paint, wait a couple of minutes, then apply your sheets. It's a very unforgiving technique, creates beautiful textures. The reason why I applied gold paint first, because if it's exposed, if the sheet does not stick, you would still have a different gold, different texture underneath. I used hot glue to stick them together and I used speckle to create a smooth joint. With my fingers I went backwards and forwards make sure that it's evened out and when it dried I also used sanding paper to smooth it even more before applying gold sheets. It's difficult to leave in laying flat because both sides are wet so I used the glass to dry it. Both dried now I'm going to use sanding paper to smooth the edges. It was very easy to sand and I was not 100% happy with the quality but still very happy with the end result. A bit rustic so I call it rustic glam. I used wet paper towel to dust it off before applying gilding fluid instead of paint but I, you could have, I could have actually used paint because I had to in the end some parts the white parts was exposed i was not happy so i applied gold in between i raised it off the surface using a ramekin jar so i can have an access underneath as well i cut the gold sheets to make my life easier to go around the edges
all done now let's do the middle link to support the middle parts while you are trying to stick them together you need to raise it to the same height as the chains so this ramekin ball was the perfect size I use the same technique, smooth it out with the speckle, let it dry and then apply the gold gilt. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids. All dry and I smooth it with the sanding paper, apply the gilding fluid, now let's apply the gold sheets. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating. Oh, I am so so happy with this chain and I'm definitely going to use it in my home decor. I'm going for gold, you have to come back and see what I'm doing in my living room. I used to hate gold but I'm fully converted. For my final one I'm using an artwork, it's an inspiration, it's not an exact product. You've seen two products, one of them is an artwork, glitter artwork from Z Gallery and the other one is the cushion that I made so I'm going to coordinate this one with my cushion getting inspiration from both cushion as well as their artwork I don't like flat surfaces so at the end of the painting process I use side of my brush to create a texture I didn't have time to put any gesso underneath to create that texture beforehand and I also use the packaging of the canvas to create further texturing. Both black and gold paints are acrylic paints and they are very quick to dry. Doing the same thing, creating a texture on the gold part as well and I apply two coats for both sides. And I'm really, really loving the texture so far. As I was recording this, the scrunched up plastic unrolled to the gold part and I was lifting, holding my breath. Only few little spots of black paint and I quickly patched it with my brush. They're all done. Panic is over. I'm using my gilding paste but you can also use any adhesive you like as long as you wait until it's tacky to touch before you apply your gold sheets. I'm trying to create similar pattern to my cushion so it goes together in the same spot. After 15 minutes the glue is tacky to touch, now it's ready for gold sheets. Oh, 
face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way Now I'm going to use my brush to reveal my pattern and get rid of all the excess sheeting I'm going to collect all this dust to use it later on you can leave it like this but I didn't want to I created even more texture more glitter more glam so I use this glitter sand I applied generous amount of Mod Podge especially in the middle and then made it jagger the edge Cut it down a little once I finished and sprinkle little bit gold glitter. All dry, beautiful. I could have finished it like that, but I carried on. Glitter sand split the gold parts into half. I wanted to reintroduce it over the top. Applied glue over the glitter sand and sprinkled my dust gold dust and here's the end result of my beautiful beautiful z gallery inspired glitter article now i'm going to show you some styling ideas i am decorating my living room this weekend you have to come back next week to see my new living room decor. Here are some styling ideas for you. I'm so happy with my little glam ball. I hope you enjoyed watching my DIYs and found it inspirational for your own home decor DIY projects. I'm done but you're not done yet. Please go to my description box below and click in the link and watch all the other ladies beautiful beautiful DIY videos. I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.